G'day, welcome to Van Diemen's Land Model Bench. I'm Dan, and to another product review. And this time we're going to be taking a look at the Army Painter Battlefield Basing Set. Uh, everything you need to make spectacular looking bases. And it gets a bonus, we includes free razor wire. So who doesn't like a bit of razor wire on their dioramas? Let's have a look around the packaging. So we've got some examples there on the side of the materials. Presumably we will find in the box. Um, on the back here, oh yes, we've got some information on the back. Uh, so the blurb here says, The Battlefield's basing set contains everything you need to make bases for any type of wargaming, be it sci-fi, fantasy, World War II or modern. This set will cover it all. This set includes all the key elements and the variety allows you to make up any type of scenery setting that you want, be it jungle, forest, tundra or scorched earth. So that's a, a fairly big claim, so it'll be interesting to see what sort of materials we get. And we've also got, which is useful, some ba uh, basic step-by-step -step, uh, photographs and instructions about how to actually go about making up the bases, which is nice. And also mentions that we get 25, um, 25 milliliter reusable pots with battlefield, oh, sorry, with brown battleground, field grass, snow, scatter, rocks, and so on. So, yeah, that's it. looking very interesting. Uh, again, I can't remember the price of this one, like I did my last review, but I will put that up on uh, the video for you now. I bought this online from Mighty 8, which is a online retailer here in Australia and New Zealand. But, of course, you can get this um, Army Painters, a fairly uh, popular brand amongst miniature modelers, so you should be able to find it without too much trouble online. All right, so let's open her up and see what we've got. Okay, so this has got a similar packaging to the last review I did for the Army Painter, which was their brushes. Um, and they come in these quite nice, clear uh, containers. So if you want to leave them in this for storage, that's great. You don't have to worry about finding a special spot for them. And let's first of all have a look at the paperwork we got with it. So the first one here is we've got uh, from box to fully painted in record time. So this looks to be, yep, this is their uh, catalogue, which is quite handy, always having a catalogue, so you can see some brushes there, the ones we reviewed in a earlier review, some of the materials there, and then it looks like this one's probably specific to, yep, uh, no it's not, this is another one that's just basically got some general guides, but still quite handy to have, so some talk about um, different types of cutters and knives, cutting mats, uh, hobby saws, tool kits and so forth. So yeah, green stuff. So this is a, again another sort of catalogue just with a little bit of a description with each of the items to explain where you might use it. Has to be said they do a nice job of presenting their uh, their various products. Alright, let's have a look at the kit itself. Okay, so we can see there we've got a few materials. I'm not sure which way we should open this but we'll find out I guess. There we go. Okay, so first off we've got Army Painters Battlefield Basing Glue. So, presumably this is some sort of a variation on PVA. Uh, it's got a resealable nozzle there, which is good. If we can see inside, see what sort of um, glue it looks like. Yeah, so it looks like it's probably some sort of a PVA. It smells like it too. That's alright. So nice size uh, applicator there and then we've got the actual materials themselves so we've got four of those and then a couple of bags as well so so I'll have a look at the bags first I guess since they're a bit easy to see so we've got some nice vegetation there you probably see that so it adds a little bit of a 3d three-dimensional effect to your uh, diorama which is nice very nice colours. If we put them up closer to the camera, you might be able to see them. They look fantastic, actually. They'll look very, very nice on a base. Um, and you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's one, two, three, four, five. So you get about 35 of them that you could uh, work with. There's our razor wire. So obviously you'll have to, uh, yeah, it's okay. You can uh, you have to bend it, of course, to make it into 
to the right shape for your diorama, but still nice. And then we've got these four pots. Now, you don't look like you get a lot of material, but trust me, you don't need a lot to do dioramas like this anyway, particularly if you're building just small bases for your figures. So that's, that's fine. So this one's rather an interesting texture. So we've got some light, medium and dark brownish sort of uh, materials in there. I guess really to sort of simulate uh, some ground where no vegetation's growing. It's quite nice. I don't know what size these containers are, unfortunately. I don't know if there's anything on them. No. No, I can't see any size on them. They're about the size of the, uh, I don't know, the dips you get at the, you take away Chinese. Um, well, this must be our snow for a look at things. So there's our snow. Um, yeah, reasonably fine. So it'd be okay for scale modeling in uh, 148th or uh, you get away with 172 as well, actually. So yeah, pretty much any scale, but it would certainly, I think it'd look a little bit better on larger scales. Okay, this one looks interesting. This one looks like it's got some rocks and things you can, uh, yep. So this is not, again, nicely uh, textured here too, by the way, but you can see there, these are all nicely chopped up so that they are really a really nice scale for uh, 135th, 148 around that sort of size. They work fantastic. And they look to be done in a complementary colour as well. So if I just open up the original one again just to show you there, you can see they're quite complementary. So that one will make a nice contrast when you put it over top of that one. Yeah, quite nice actually. They look very good. And then finally, some green stuff. Okay, so this one's like uh, grass basically, and unlike the other ones, got some tweezers here. This one's designed so you can just basically pull a little bit out like a clump and plop that on your diorama wherever you might need it so you can change the size to suit. Again, it's a fairly rich colour. But it is multicolored. There's green and light greens in it. And uh, again, feels really nice. Looks very good quality. So I think we can say that well, the Army Painter uh, does make an effort to make their products good, good quality. Whether you think they're good value, I'll leave that for you to decide. But um, I'm not disappointed at all. I think that's quite a nice set and I can see how that would be very useful. Um, I don't know about the claim that it will do everything though because I suspect there are a few scenarios where I'd have to go and find some other scenic materials. But if you're just starting out and you wanted to build a base for your figure, um, you could do a lot worse than buy this set, I think. It would give you enough material to be able to come up with something interesting. So that's it. That's our review. Uh, again, that's for the Army Painter Battlefields Basing Set. Hope you enjoyed. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.